जस पंजाबी देखते हुए सारे दर्शकों को मेरे लो प्यार भरी सत श्री अकाल तोड़ा स्वागत एक स्पेशल जस लाइव दे एपिसोड दे विच मैं थोड़ी होस्ट आशमिता सारे अनु इस शाम दे प्रोग्राम दे विच निगा स्वागत कर दे हां एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट कॉज लेके आज तो हर नाल हाजिर होए हां खास करके जो साडी इथे दी लोकल न्यूयॉर्क ट्राई स्टेट एरिया दी कम्युनिटी नाल जुड़ी हुई है यू नो किसी भी मां प्यो ले सब तो बड़ा दर्द उन्हों के बच्चों का हों रब ना करे तो बच्चे तो हाड़े तो खोए जान वो भी एक छोटी उम्र के दर्द ज सिर्फ जिन्हें वापर दी है कभी ना वापरे उन्होंने ही पता है कि वह किस तरह अगे वे हैं कई लोग योजी कह लो आम तरीके अपनाते हैं उस दर्द नाल उन्होंने हैंडल करने के लिए जो कुछ चंगाई हो भावें एक बच्चे का नुकसान कोई पूरा नहीं कर सकता लेकिन अगर तुम कुछ भला कर सकते हो उस तो बाद कि ना कि वह जख्म के मलम माड़ा मोटा ला लेंगे हो अज एक योजी फाउंडेन दे बारे जानकारी लैके तो हर नाल हाजिर हुए हैं इनफैक्ट एक माँ प्यो साढ़े नाल जुड़े हुए हैं जिन्होंने यह दर्द आप अपनी बच्ची नु खोन तो बाद झेलिया Please join me in welcoming husband and wife Maria and Costa Ianu of the Joanna Sophia Foundation. First of all, Maria Costa, welcome to our program. So good to have you. Um, you know, I was just explaining to our viewers that there is no greater pain for a mother and father than anything bad happening to their child. but to imagine the loss of a young child is unimaginable unless you're going through it sometimes when folks go through that they turn around and they try to do some good in the world and that led me to you guys and to the Joanna Sophia Foundation um before we begin um you know i i want you to share with our viewers a little bit about the work not just of the foundation but why it was created and the story behind who Joanna Sophia was. Mm-hmm. I'll start with you Maria. Thank you for inviting us. I appreciate it. So, Joanna's I have four children. We have four children. Joanna was our third. She was 9 years old. She did start having seizures at a very young age, but was controlled. She had medication. it was called idiopathic meaning there was no reason for it other than the fact that she had seizures she was a very healthy girl normal in school average everything fine and uh the doctors would tell us she may outgrow it we will see and that was that and i learned to say okay we're going to learn to live with epilepsy i researched it said the most thing that worried me was her having a seizure out in public knowing that she might not be able to drive that was my biggest worry that's it as it turns out there was one night um it was election day so the children had off from school i put her to bed she went uh with um her sisters in the morning there was no school so i wasn't running around to get them ready and um as it turned out she never woke up so later on i found out that seizures can happen at night and you may not wake up from it. So, it's not something that's talked about when you go to a neurologist's office. That's the last thing they tell you. And I unfortunately did not find out. I found out the hard way and for me part of this foundation is bringing awareness and even though it's a very hard subject to bring up, I want people to understand uh epilepsy is very normal. It happens to many people. and something like this can happen so there needs to be more exposure there needs to be more research on it and to stop something like this from right. happening ever to any other family um before we get into the work of the foundation costa i want you to share with our viewers a little bit about your daughter um because once again you know many of our audience watching today have children young children of their own um many are familiar with what epilepsy is jinna nu dore pende hai seizures on there um often exactly like you said when we think about it in young children depending on what the doctor tells you it's not the serious thing so tell us about joanna sophia um besides the medical condition 
What kind of a, a young girl was she? No, she was um, very easygoing, very fun. Always, she was like the popular kid in her class. A lot of everything was a joke to her. She never took anything seriously. Um, and if you look at our logo, the foundation, it was based on her character. Very, you know, girly, liked unicorns, liked everything, playing around with her friends and stuff like that. Um, and she was, you know, with the, 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 the all four of my kids, you know, they were, they were friends. They were, they were apart from being siblings, they were close friends, you know. Um, yeah, then that's the whole purpose, the way we did our foundation based on um, the Joanna Sophia Foundation. We try to make this event more like a fun event based on her personality. Mm -hmm. we, we built it in a way that it makes it easier for people to come and enjoy the event. In other words, um, instead of... The reality is when you lose a child, people will come and they'll sympathize with you and they'll go ahead and... And a lot of people will, um, my, our intent was to build it up, mm -hmm. to make it um, an event li li that would attract someone like her, which should wake up in and, and be excited to come to this run and be exposed to a lot of fun and entertainment. In other words, based on her personality. So in other words, the, the description of how, what was she like, the, the, the event we have is pretty much her personality. So, um, you know, you, you mentioned the event a few times, and I want to share the information with our viewers about this. So, Darshiko Khaskar, who is a New York-based um, audience, is very joyful. This is a annual 5K walk slash run. Sanu Sarya knew that 5K is a dog. It is not only 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 a dog. But this is an event that you guys have put together, and specifically, the theme is around the world right and so it's a fun event where families come as a family you bring your kids there's so many um you know activities and and different things for kids to enjoy as you can see on the screen um these are some images from previous runs um so tell me about how you came up with this theme why is it around the world um and and why was it that you wanted to do a 5k run walk to begin with as part of the Joanna Sophia Foundation? Well, really we wanted to do it for our children. Um, when we are, everybody was grieving around us, everyone was over a home um, and because we, we, so our children are sitting there, they're, they're, they're upset, they're looking at us to see what to do. And we looked at each other, I said, I cannot sit, I'm not going to wear black. I want to get up and and make our children see that they're, not that life goes on, because life is not the same. And it's just, we want to make sure that they realize you cannot just sit down and mourn. I could have sat under a rock and cried. It's not going to bring her back. I wanted to bring this happiness about her life. Uh, people at her wake, we had pictures all around, and they were looking at her pictures, and they came over to us. And one of the things that impressed us, they're like, she was only nine years old, yet she did so much. She wasn't afraid to do things, try new things. We traveled the world. It was just a wonderful thing to hear back from other people. So we said we wanted to do something that was fun activity. So walking, running, yeah. trying to see um, how far people can do. So a lot of people thought, no way I can run 5K. Yeah. And then they realized it's, not, it's, it's okay. You yeah. can walk it. And it, they yeah. felt better about themselves. And just seeing this this amount of pink all around and yeah. unicorns, it's just wonderful, wonderful feeling. Uh, yes, you're there in memory of my daughter, but it's a happiness that you have. You won't be mourning her. You'll you'll be happy. You'll we'll be, be celebrating. Yes, her celebrating life. her and, life. And the other thing, not only that, it's going to your 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 question around the world in 5K. It's a global issue. It's 65 million people. That wow. have epilepsy. Wow. That means that, and there's also a stigma behind epilepsy, and we've got to, you know, break that barrier. Um, and by oh, having a run like this, an event like this, it's including every culture, um, community. What mm -hmm. it's including everyone. So the, the purpose of doing this is you're making memories as a family because people are 
once the event finishes, people are calling us saying, when's the next event? Because wow. the families have fun. It's yeah. a walk where they come, they attend. It's uh, They get a water bottle, a pink T-shirt, a, a coupon for free food, right. entertainment, uh, a carnival theme at the end where there's a lot of games to play. So the whole point is to bring awareness, but also make it a global thing where we can also help families like which you i'm sure you'll be mentioning shortly is whatever funds we have we can help families whoever wherever they are that's linked yeah. to epilepsy you yeah. know I'm, I'm glad you said that because this uh foundation the joanna sophia foundation is event to alava bought uh sevava nibhariya in fact i want to share some information about the kind of work that they do and how they support um children who may be suffering from this condition, from epilepsy, genital seizures, um, or a related condition, SUDEP, which is the children who Maria, Costa, Mapio, Choti Bachi Joanna de Sardinal Aj Mojudhan Ap the Foundation Vare Gal Karehan Jadoina the Bachi and Atokoi Gay. Um, Rabba na kare kisi nu vi e ho ja sama vek na pae. But agar to hard na le ho ja kuch vapre hai to nu kisi vare pata hai ya to apne parivar de vich kisi bache bachi nu epilepsy ya dore pen de hai and to si vek ho kis tarah to to nu help mil sakdi hai. Pame doctors kuch bhi can to si jrur na de naal jur sakde ho. It's so good to have you guys on the program. Of course, no one wants to have to do an endeavor like this, but after the sudden passing of your nine-year-old daughter, Joanna Sophia, you didn't want to sit and mourn, not just for the sake of your other children, but just in general. Mm -hmm. You wanted to celebrate her life. Um, and you wanted to help others that may be unaware of the, the, the devastating effects of epilepsy if you know, you're know you not properly equipped. Your daughter suffered from a seizure at night and unfortunately did not wake up in the morning at the tender age of nine. This is so heartbreaking when you think about it, but the Joanna Sophia Foundation is working to raise awareness about this. Um, can you tell us, Maria Costa, um, about the work that the foundation is doing? Of course, we shared uh, with viewers information about the upcoming uh, 5K walk slash run. Uh, this is happening on June 22nd, right here in uh, Queens, New York City. Um, but I wanna learn a little bit more about what the foundation does. And of course, a beautiful picture of Joanna there um, in the center, if we could zoom in on that as well. Um, Tell us a little bit about what other kind of support does the foundation offer for children who may be suffering from epilepsy um, at, at different degrees? Yeah, well, certain children, like our daughter, had seizures every once in a while, but there are children that have seizures that are uncontrollable. And the, the parents can't be there at every moment of every day. So there are dogs that are that are specifically trained wow. to detect seizures so it's a really great program we 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 collaborated with aspen service in canada and the they specialize in training the dogs okay. and they find families that need these dogs for themselves but to get there it's it's a lot of money mm -hmm. it's uh, about 40,000 per dog wow. it requires the dog to be trained um all a lot of training, a lot of the, vet, the, obviously the trainers need to be covered and then the families need to be taught how to deal with the children, mm -hmm. uh, with the dogs. And so all of that costs a lot of money. Mm -hmm. A lot of families cannot afford that. So they, the, we reached out to Aspen Service and they find the families for us. Mm -hmm. So then we get in contact with them mm -hmm. and then we actually donate the money directly to service, to the Aspen Service because we wanna make sure the money is going directly where it needs to be going. We wanna help these families. And so far we've helped two families, which is wonderful. This year we're supplying another dog to another wow. family. Wow. And each of these children have their own um, seizures, their specific epilepsy that is some of them maybe like multiple seizures that are wow. still not controlled. Wow. Medication is still being fi mm -hmm. figured out. And some of them are controlled, but it's just so many still that the parents, again, they're not able to be there at all times. So the dogs actually run 
towards them. Wow. They're able to bring direct the attention of the parents. Right. It's, it's just something I wish that I had. You know, it's um, I, I need to reiterate this for the benefit of our viewers, um, just in case anybody missed that. So, pame epilepsy nu lake ya jina nu bachya nu bhot severe dore pende epilepsy karke tu si una de naal har pal nahi reh sakde, khas karke you know jodo bachye vade ho jande school jande ya kithi bhi jande hai. Um, eh research. Dogs who train Kardi is the Aspen Institute in Canada. Uh, specific Trikidanal in dogs who eh train Kardi, ki o dog nu pata ho janda hai seizure hon to pelle case bachin nu seizure hon ala hai. Oh, she is nu sense kar sagde, sung sagde hai. Ona nu he training diti jandi hai. And oh, dog, ek service dog di tarang jo to si dekh de ho na kahi log kani service dogs hundi hai, special vest pai hundi hai. ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਹਰ ਪਲ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਸੀਜ਼ਰ ਹੋਣ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਉਸ ਡੌਗ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੂੰ ਸੀਜ਼ਰ ਹੋਣ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਜਾਂ ਮਾਪਿਓ ਨੂੰ ਜਾਂ ਟੀਚਰ ਨੂੰ ਜਾਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਫੜ ਕੇ ਉਹ ਮਦਦ ਲੈ ਆਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਖਾਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਇਹੋ ਜਿਹਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਦਾ ਰਾਤ ਦਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਹੈ ਬੱਚਾ ਸੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਇਹੋ ਜਿਹੇ ਟਾਈਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਈ ਮੀਨ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਇਨ ਅਨ ਇਨਵੈਲਿਊਬਲ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਪੁਟ ਅ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਸ ਟੂ ਦਿਸ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਵੀ ਵਰ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਸੇਵਿੰਗ a child's life potentially mm-hmm. um and you know uh, once again um this is something that cuts forward the, all of the research that may be lagging behind yeah. and the medication that may not be there yet you know or some of the doctors that may not like unfortunately Joanna's doctors may not think that it's anything worth addressing medically um so what are some of the <clears throat> when we talk about um how the community you know has um supported you and participated in the organization whether it's in the run or in other initiatives i know you guys have deep roots here of course um and, and this is something you've been working in very passionately what kind of response have you gotten from the community to get involved with this well that's that's the wonderful part of it this whole thing also began because my sister-in-law started this GoFundMe okay. thinking okay let's raise this money instead of getting flowers for for, yeah. for the funeral and it we had so much don- so many donations that we said we thankfully are blessed we don't need that mm-hmm. we didn't need the money so now let's see if we can start to donate it to somewhere and what what we got nervous about is where to donate mm-hmm. and we found different foundations and we didn't know exactly where where the money was going towards so that's why we decided to make our own foundation mm-hmm. but this community was we're so blessed the community that we're from uh everyone reached out not just we're greek but not just the greek community it just spilled over to so many different other mm-hmm. cultures and it's just wonderful because again unfortunately epilepsy is a global disease right. it's not looked upon as much as others mm-hmm. And uh, but it does need to have more focus. It needs mm-hmm. to be looked at more in research. Mm-hmm. That's another thing that we're doing. Also, is the research that we are also um, donating money to. So okay. it's hopefully we'll see. Well, we've donated about two. I think two hundred, two hundred out of the two hundred. We've committed to a quarter of a million, but we've wow. given to a quarter of a million dollars to a, a foundation, an organization called Cure Epilepsy that specializes directly in. Um, trying to find a cure, the purpose of SUDEP, because um, SUDEP is sudden unexpected death from epilepsy. In other wow. words, um, doesn't necessarily mean they'll have a seizure in this. Like, they they can, maybe their brain will tell the heart to stop pumping, and that's it. Wow. Um, so that's why um, it's we spend, we give money to research, and the other is to help families. We've mentioned the dogs. The reason why we mentioned dogs because that's what came across us. But if if there's anyone in your community that needs help mm-hmm. for either medical, you know, paying medication, mm-hmm. but and generally it goes through a review board. But if we see that they need help, we will be there to help. Wow. Um, again, the purpose of this foundation was, you know, we didn't know who to donate to. Right. And a lot of it, unfortunately, uses it as a profiting mechanism. Um, the, at least with our foundation, this is the name of my daughter, and uh, and not even a penny comes out of, and no one no, no one makes a penny, whoever contributes it, it, it to our foundation. It's purely to help find a cure and help 
families that have epilepsy, young kids that have epilepsy. That is so amazing. Um, once again, I want to tell you that this foundation is the one who is because jadu inna nu donations mili apni bachchi de de haan to baad inna nu koi eh ho je jagah nahi labbi jithe eh be fikr ho ke oh paise de sakan so inna ne kiya ki assi apne bachchi de naam te khud hi foundation shuru kar de ha kuch changiyai la ke aan layi lokan tak eh awareness eh jankari pahunchan layi ki eh bachchiyan naal hunda hai te ho vi sakda hai um you know agar tusi is 5k run walk de vich aana chande ho si zarur tohanu um urge karde ha ki hum hum aake pahuncho ek wari fir assi screen te eh flyer dikha rahe ha all the details of the 5k are on the flyer this is happening june 22nd agle weekend ho reha hai bachchiyan samet parivaran samet zarur pahuncho there's tons of activities for kids um it's an event that joanna would have loved you you purposely made it in a way that she would have loved it uh, register currently or if you want to find out more information you can go to joanna sofia foundation.org screen te vi hi information likhi hui hai te phone number bhi likhya hoya hai tusi zarur ina de naal directly contact kar sakde ho agar tusi support karna chande ho 5k le register karna chande ho ya shayad agar tohanu kisi support kisi am jankari kisi help di zarurat hai kisi bacche di is epilepsy is condition nu lake um you know i i unfortunately i don't have too much more time with you guys but I I would love to know um what does the future look like you've already done so much and then in the few years since you lost Joanna um and it seems like you know you you have a great uh trajectory of bringing about meaningful change I'll start with you Maria what does the future look like for this foundation Well hopefully more research on Sudep more and being able to donate more and um honestly I would love just one of the major things is uh let joan inspire you hopefully you at home can be inspired by this and look and see what you can do to help others um we just would love to have this become more of a now with social media being able to if you can't run and walk that day from your own uh home do it and have people sponsoring you it's just i just again it's really for for us to celebrate our daughter's life and and have her i have my thoughts always is that she's looking up from above seeing all this pink and saying you know this is for me so anyway it it certainly is for her costa any last words yeah i i just the our goal is in the name of my daughter because of our tragedy she's going to save other people who the, the lives of other people who could have have had potential suit up in their life um and even on a smaller scale with the first run we had uh, having people come and approach us and say you know I've never walked 5k and because of your daughter I've lost 20 pounds 10 pounds and that in so th- she's inspired people because of this event so a lot of things have ch- changed people's life in the name of my daughter um, the ultimate goal is find a cure to suit up ep uh, in reality hopefully epilepsy but i'm i'm fine with suit up because at least you know um they will still have the kids with them by by their side yeah um that's what it comes down to right um once again jaddansi shurwaj ke asi rab na kare kisi bhi maa pyo nu ek apne bacche to vichhan na pae but agar kuch eh ho ji vapar di hai um just tarah eh ma pyo maria and costa kuch changiyai la ke aa rahe han um eh ho ji foundation nu support karna chahiye de naal judna chahiye the the big thing you can do in the next uh, coming few days is take part in this 5k run once again for more information you can go to joanna sofia foundation.org to register to find out more about the organization to support um and to reach out if you have any questions once again maria costa such a pleasure we wish you guys you. the best of luck and one more thing i i know we keep saying run 
it's a run, run slash walk, walk because yes. we have kids from four years old till wow. 89 years old attending. Of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. I love that. Um, our community is definitely familiar with that. I see Hamisha Vasaki 5K. I share a lot of knowledge. Hum hum aake poncho. Pame tu si dor na hai, tur na hai. The important thing is that you show up and participate. Um, in memory of Joanna Sophia. Thank you again so Thank much, you, both Thank of you. Sadele, uh, quick questions, comments, concerns. Of course, you can write us at info at justbroadcasting.com. Ashmita at justbroadcasting.com. And Sanuhi Dewe, Jazit, Sat Sriya Kaal.